Well, today is day six. We're getting ready to pack out. Before we do, we need to get some water. We get a stream, put some water in our water bag, and then we'll filter it out into a water bottle. Hi guys, uh, it's day six. Um, this is actually uh, gonna talk about day five. Day five was not a good day for Al and I. Uh, as you guys know, we spent the night at Mountain Crossing and, and the night was good because we had pizza and stuff like that. Well, they had uh, in that store, they had sausage and cheese and uh, it was my plan just to get it the next morning before we left. Al wanted to get it the night before. Well, I should have listened to Al. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because uh, little t they changed the store hours and they weren't gonna open till nine. We knew we needed to leave at eight because we were going to do an 11, over 11 and a half miles to the next shelter, and uh, that's the longest we didn't we've know done. It was 11 and a half. Al didn't know. I knew. Anyway, so we leave at eight without sausages and cheese. And yesterday was a forced march because we were trying to get to the uh, uh, shelter by five. This gives Al more than enough time to get set up uh, before darkness and anything like that. It's my fault. So right. it was a forced march. Um, I led. And uh, I led. We got we got to the uh, uh, camp, the shelter. I lay my pack down. I lay down for a little bit. Al starts setting up his uh, hammock. I go check on him, and he's inside the hammock. Uh, I said, hey, let's get up for supper. And uh, he was all done in. And that actually made me feel good, not because he felt bad. Downhills are coming, buddy. Because Downhills are coming. Because I, he looked like the Energizer Bunny yesterday. I didn't realize plenty of rest he was hurting. Downhills. So as, as uh, people were coming through, the younger kids, they were talking about how bad those hills were and how rough it was. So that made us feel better. Again, not because they were feeling made bad. Made you feel better. I didn't feel bad. So we sat at the picnic table and we were eating our supper with uh, One a do group of other younger hikers. And uh, while we had a bad day, our night was good because uh, uh, their their mood uplifted us. Uh, we laughed and joked and, and talked about different things and uh, young kids' perception versus old guys' perceptions. Uh, anyway, so I went to bed and Al stayed up another half hour laughing and joking with these kids. And... Uh, so it ended up being a great night. Day six starts off great then. We're going to hike uh, eight miles today or a little under eight, hit a shelter, and then tomorrow uh, hike a few miles. Then we're going to get a, uh, a shuttle into uh, Hiasi or Hiawasi, stay at the Budget Inn, have some good food, get a good night's sleep, and we'll go from there. Talk to you guys later. On the this is why solar chargers don't work. This is why you should probably wear a hat. End of day six, um, Al's calling home to Becky. I've already called home, talked to Pat. We don't know where we're at. We're staying at the Blue Mountain Shelter. And uh, these are some of the uh, our shelter mates. I think there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there's hot tub right there. Um, anyway, so there'll be six or seven of us staying in the shelter tonight. And uh, overall, we had a good day. Um, again, it was a short hike, less than eight miles. Um, you see the view that we can see. And then tomorrow, Al and I are going to hike a couple miles down the uh, mountain, Unicoi Gap, and have a shuttle uh, driver pick us up. We're going to spend the night at Budget Inn in Hiawassee, uh, wash our clothes, take a shower get some town food, and then uh, he'll bring us back uh, Monday morning to the same place he picked us up at. And uh, we've got a plan to hike to a shelter, spend the night, hike to another shelter, spend the night, and then hike to a, a gap where the same shuttle driver will pick us up there, run us back to Hawaii, Hiawassee, and we'll spend the night there, and he'll bring us back. So we'll be able to sleep in uh, warm beds and get uh, laundry done again with only three days worth of stink. Enjoy the views.